So I wanted to show you one of my favorite dyes. Um, I use this all the time when I'm teaching classes or doing make and takes, and this is my favorite one. Um, maybe not my favorite one. I probably have about 5,000 favorites, but for today, this is my favorite, and I'm using it for some make and takes this weekend that I'll show you in just a minute. Anyway, um, I really like it because of the ability to use it as a photo mat, which would be kind of unique and kind of a heritage type thing. It could be used as a base for the label, and then you can use that as a focal centerpiece for the beginning of a book or a card, maybe do a stamp here, any number of things. Um, for my make and take, it's actually going to be where you would put a small photo. And so, I'll kind of real quick show you using my favorite little die cut machine. I love this machine so much that I take it with me on the road. Kind of funny. I like the big one for um, my large projects, but this has really been great for creating embellishments. So, the first um, thing we're going to do is put a die cut I like that squeaky. It's making my dog go crazy. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and die cut some recycled um, cardboard. And as you can see, die cuts perfect and what's wonderful about this machine I've mentioned before is that you can die cut just about anything from cardboard to paper to lightweight wood to metals you know basically if it's really thin you can put it through this machine which that makes me happy as much as I die cut my kids and I were wondering about how many dies I've probably cut in the last couple of years I'd say several hundred thousand anyways so we have this, and just a second, I'm going to show you a couple uses for this particular shape. All right, see you in a bit. So now that we've cut out our um, vintage piece, I kind of want to show you a quick tip or something that I do in class that kind of helps people figure out what size photo to use. And I use a playing card as a template. And if you lay that playing card on here, you'll see it's a tad bigger than the inside of the die cut. But at the same time, it creates a really cool shape on the outside of it. Just a kind of a unique kind of photo mat as opposed to something so traditional and typical. Looks a little bit heritage, looks a little bit decorative, kind of artsy fartsy like that. And as you can see here, <clears throat> I, this is the make and take that I'm doing. And here I just sprayed the cardboard dye black. And then I created a little embellishment here, butterfly. And that was done with this butterfly dye which I really like a lot because it has a sort of a delicate kind of a feel to a little bit more sophisticated, which goes with the project we're doing. So, <clears throat> to kind of give you a real quick idea, what I did was I die cut one out of cardboard and I die cut one butterfly out of paper. I put the cardboard down one first. Boy, I need more coffee, I can't talk. I put the cardboard one down first. And then I put my um, paper one down after I painted and did all my little happiness to it. And I only glued it down the center of the body. That way the wings would fly free. And gives it a little bit of movement, gives it a little bit more of texture and dimension, which if you know me, I'm all about texture and dimension. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find lots of uses for the vintage dye. I'm gonna go ahead at the end of this video and put in probably a, like a half dozen um, photos of where I've used this and different classes and different projects that I've done. It really is a great basic dye to have in your um, library of dyes. Is that what we're going to call it? I think we should call it a library because it's kind of like that, right? Anyway, hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon with some new ideas. Have a good one.